You know, the landowner here called me, and I can see why. He'd got my name from another area landowner. Gave me a call, said, boy, I got some muskrat damage. I, I'd like you to take care of it. And I think in today's world, it's just a real good idea to, if at all possible, to help these folks out. And Actually, I kind of got a bonus with this place. He has nice fox and coyote territory, a lot of raccoon sign. So I got permission to trap this whole place. It's only going to take me a day or two to really take the cream of these rats out of this pond. And he does have a bunch of them. And away we go. All right. You know, North America's most prolific fur bearer is a muskrat. And I'll tell you, there's nothing more fun to catch. I've used a colony trap here. Try not to muddy up the water so you can see it. This is a wire mesh trap set right at a den entrance. You can see the den entrance is actually under the water. It goes back up in the bank. The muskrats live up in the bank. They swim out and come out in the water, work up and down this bank. These grassy edged banks, muddy banks, perfect muskrat habitat. I'll tell you, there's scratchings, diggings, trails. Heck, we saw a muskrat down there swimming a little while ago. Muskrats really like these type of creeks and colony traps like this or conibear set at den entrances or trails work out super slick. What I like about these is you can get them two at a time. Just dump them out. Oh, there's one. There's the other. See, all this is is just wire made at home. Now, where they're legal, they're really effective. The door's at an angle, tips up, the rat swims in, the door drops behind him, and he can't get out. Really a good spot. I'm going to put this back just for one more time. You can see right there's the hole. Don't even need to stake it. That's all there is to it. <laughs>